All right, C. Lindelof videos, AP Calculus, Related Rates, The Jogger Problem. It says a woman jogging at a rate of 10 kilometers per hour crosses point P heading north. This is a constant rate. Then 10 minutes later, a man jogging at a constant rate of 9 kilometers per hour crosses the same point. He's heading east. How fast is the distance? How fast is the distance between the two joggers changing 20 minutes after the man crosses P? So this is kind of how I went at this. I went at this like this. I looked at this this way. I'm like, okay, this is a right triangle. This is the woman here. She's running north, so let this be north. And let this be east, if you don't mind, uh, for this example. And we know that she leaves 10 minutes before the man does. So 10 minutes before the man does, so is 10 over 60 is equal to one-sixth of an hour, and one-sixth of an hour times 10 kilometers per hour is five-thirds kilometers. So when he's here, when he just starts here, she's already here. She's already at five-thirds. This is really kind of important to think about because of where we're going from here. So let's put some stuff in that we know already. We know that dy dt, her speed, is 10. We know that dx dt, the eastward progress, is 9 kilometers. So all I'm going to do now is I need, I need an equation. So we're looking for that distance. So just to be clear about that, we're looking for the distance. And hopefully we can agree that as he moves and she moves, their distances get further apart. So what I want to say about that is this. I want to use the distance formula. Uh, I think what I'm going to use is x squared plus y squared is equal to, and let's call this d, if you don't mind, is, is d squared. So that's, let that be d. And what we know about this is that this is this, this is this, but we also know, here's our d squared here. What we know about y squared is that it's not only y, but it's y plus this initial position, because when he's crossing here he's going to be heading this way right when he's here she's already this far so her distance will always be y plus five thirds more because she started with that squared now from here it gets easier for a second and then it gets crappy again always what we're going to do with related rates problems is that we're going to take ddt of the whole mess so i found my equation <clears throat> And remember, what we're going to want here is we're going to, what we're looking for is D, should have called that H, let's call it D, 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 T at T equals 20. So that gives us what we're looking for there, and your reader's going to want to know. So I'd start to take this derivative, I get 2X DX DT plus 2Y plus, 2 times Y plus 5 thirds times DY DT, right? is equal to 2d dd dt and it looks like a horrible mess look at all this crap that we have here it is an absolute horror show um, because what we have here is this we have we have variables we have the variable x we have the variable y we have all these derivative statements here we have this variable here so like okay what are we going to do let's start with some stuff that we know we know that dx dt was given, so we and we know that that's 9, right? And that came from right here, right? Came from the problem. And we know that dy dt is 10, and that helps a little bit. But now you can see that we're still missing some stuff. And the stuff that we're missing, the stuff that we are missing is x, y, and d. So this takes us to this problem. You're like, oh my God, what are we going to do with this? What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to that triangle because we can figure out these distances. So let this triangle be the, this triangle up here. And we are still trying to calculate this distance. Right? This is where people get a little bit turned around here. Um, so we're trying to figure out how far did he go. Well, at 9, at nine kilometers per hour, right, at 9 kilometers per hour, we want to know 20 minutes later, and we know 20 minutes is 20 over 60 is one-third hour. So 20 minutes is one-third hour, and one-third times nine kilometers per hour would get him to three kilometers. I'm just going to put three there if you don't mind. And we also know that 
20 minutes later, after 20 minutes, you have to be careful with this because I know what you're going to want to do, but 20 minutes later, so we're going to do one-third times the fact that she's getting off at 10 kilometers per hour, and that gets him to 10 thirds kilometers an hour. But please remember, please remember that we have to add this five thirds, right? Because she got a head start on him. So 10 thirds plus five thirds is 15 thirds. So 15 thirds. So far, so good. And 15 thirds is equal to five. So that gives us five. This looks like it might fool you. Say, so like, oh my God, we have a Pythagorean triplet. We have a a three, four, five. We don't. We have a three, five something. This distance can't be four. It has to, it's the longest side, so it can't be four, right? So I will do that bit of math, and I'll say that five squared plus three squared equals distance squared, and therefore this distance is equal to the square root of 34. So this is square root 34. Now we have all of these values to plug in. We can plug in the five, so times uh, this is x, isn't it? So this is times 3 here. We already plugged in. This is 15 thirds, which is 5, isn't it? And we know that this piece here is square root 34. And here now we just have, all we have left is DDT. And I'll leave you, frankly, to do all the arithmetic, but that's how I'd set this up. Not the easiest problem in the world, but definitely doable. Uh, I hope the video was really helpful for you. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and you know your comments are always welcome. Thanks, guys. Peace.